up, Critique Crew? It is I, Key, and welcome back to Kiki's Critique. Happy, happy Saturday. I am so excited to be back with you guys again today. This is our Build Our Business or Brand Saturday. So if this is your first time coming over to Kiki's Critique, don't be shy. Say hello in the comment section down below, okay? Give me a thumbs up, okay? Just to let me know that you stopped through. And if you want to be part of the Critique Crew over here and feel this energy and receive all of this knowledge, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded. I'm, I'm excited, guys, because we started this Build Our Business or Brand Saturdays a couple Saturdays ago. Um, and last week, uh, we started um, with uh, how to know when the enemy comes. And I really felt like that was a very important uh, start for our Build Our Business or Brand Saturdays because once we make this decision to start our own business, to, to, to be independent, the enemy is going to come and he's going to come through friends and family and people who you love and respect and admire even. And there he's going to try to distract you and deter you from setting this goal into completing this goal. So we got to be armed and we got to be ready to know that people who may not support you. They may not agree with you. They may think, oh my gosh, you're about to start a business. That is so stupid or that's a dumb idea or how are you going to do this? I kill the noise, okay? So if you haven't checked out that video before you even finish this video, baby, go over and hit that and, and, and watch that video because that is very important. You got to know what's, what's ahead, okay? So with that being said, I, I wanted to um, talk to us about um, ideas to start a business because that could be just the, the first genesis like okay key I want to start a business but I don't know what kind of business to start well we talked a little bit before about um, I think it was last or Wednesday before last we were talking about you know just getting started you know not you know procrastinating and and just um, making the decision to do something based off of our habits and the things that we enjoy doing well you know that can still seem kind of vague. So I wanted to just give us some concrete ideas, some, some, you know, and go into the reasons why I chose um, these particular business ideas and, and hopes that it will help at least inspire you or give you something to think about. So you guys seem to enjoy my top videos, okay? Those countdown videos, like the one I'm doing today, you seem to enjoy it. So we about to hit this thing, okay? This is the top seven, okay? Top seven business ideas that you can start without any money. Okay, stop seven. No money business ideas. Okay, let's hit it. Let's, let's, I don't want to hold you long. Okay, number one. A print-on-demand company. A print-on-demand company is, is really good when you want to maybe start a clothing business because you don't have to worry about uh, buying the inventory. You don't have to worry about um, overhead money. You, you can put on your website, I'm selling these shirts. They can order the shirts, okay? The, and you order the shirt from that print-on-demand company like uh, Printify or Shopify where you can just order that shirt. They'll do the shipping. They'll keep track. Of, you know what I mean? So you don't have to have, like go buy shirts and buy the machine and all this type of stuff to try to do it. So it saves you a lot of that overhead and you can get started, okay? So a print-on-demand company, okay? And I'm going to put all the information that I'm giving you guys in the description box box below so um don't forget if you're doing a print on demand company you know check out the trademarks check out the copyright you know make sure that your ideas for what it is that you're doing is is yours is original is legitimate and you don't have to worry about no issues okay that's number one number two a niche content blog now, y'all, this is 2020, and everybody, we in the house, we social distancing, um, but a, a, a blog is something, again, no money. You don't have to put no money. You can uh, go to websites like Wix or Squarespace or, um, what is it, GoDaddy, um, and you can start you a, a niche blog. Now, what I mean by niche is, I mean specific, like finances or food, you know, restaurants. You're checking out all the restaurants. So you're checking out, you know, you understand finance well. If you have a specific niche blog, 
It's easy to generate traffic because people are looking for a particular thing. If they're looking for food, they're going to put in food, baby, and then they're going to come up. There's your blog. And the more traffic you generate on that site, that's where your revenue comes in. Google Ads to pick you up. You get ads running. And boom, you already got a business. And you ain't have to spend a dime, baby. Ain't nothing. Just create a website. So, um... As long as you make valuable content um, and you um, build useful and give useful information, you can be really successful. I mean, bloggers make a lot of money in 2020, baby. Don't get it twisted. I have a blog site, kikiscritique.com, okay? But my blog is, is lifestyle. It is it's a wide range of information. I'm talking about everything. And the ladies on my uh, blogs are talking about everything. We're talking about relationships. We're talking about building confidence we're talking about health we're talking about growing your business so we're lifestyle blog so my blog is, is harder at times to get the right traffic because it is it's not focused and centralized on one particular thing except for just improving your life so um a specific niche like finances you, you'll do good. Okay, so that's number two, um, personal vlogging. Uh, number three. Now, I know this sounds a little weird, and these are not in any, any particular order, okay? Um, but door-to-door -door sales. I mean, salespeople make can make a lot of money is you you don't have to have no upfront costs and it teaches you a lot years and years ago i did door the door when i was in my early teens or something like that late teens i'm sorry i said early teens late teens early 20s um i did some door-to-door -door sales and i took this whole program you know everybody in there cheering and excited and like okay everybody energy's up yes yes we're about to get out there we're going to make some money yes 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 and even though that's a hard hustle so going door to door, selling stuff is hard. I mean, um, but you learn how to present yourself because generally the people don't end up buying the products because of the products. They end up buying it because of you. So door to door sales is a great hustle. It teaches you how to start your business and you get a lot of training on running your business, how to market yourself and things like that, which are useful tools later on. So don't despise the day of small beginnings. Door to door sales can be a great um, startup business and a great Number hustle for you. Number okay? four, personal branding. Now, okay, you may say, well, keep branding yourself don't really make you money. But no, branding yourself does not make you money, but it does create opportunities. Utilizing platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, TikTok, you know, and utilizing those platforms and marketing yourself, what you stand for, what you're passionate about, what your thing is, and, and, and everything you do on those platforms is about that one thing. You begin to brand yourself. You begin to stand apart from from somebody else because you're different you're everything that you're about is about that thing you're not all over here you're not all over there you're not doing this, this, this. you're about this thing and, and, and it shows and so branding allows people to know who you are know what you're passionate about know what what they're getting when they get you and then when you have products and merchandise and you're growing in, in other areas they will purchase they will become your customer because they became one of your many um, supporters okay because they they become inspired by your brand and who you are and so now they're supporting you in all that you do and that opens up doors to other businesses that you can create on your own besides just bring yourself so look at social media if you're thinking about starting a business look at social media as a place to market who you are and not a place looking for somebody to just try to you know just just put yourself out there i mean i don't know okay um, that's number, number four number five okay virtual assistant now, y'all, virtual assistants are really um, booming right now because they um, we are at home and we are building our businesses like this. And right now, I'm, I'm getting ready to hire me a virtual assistant for some administrative stuff, some stuff that I need to do that to help, you know, relieve some hands for me so I can have time to do some other things. And virtual assisting, like Upwork and uh, Fever, um, 
is these are places where you can um, you can sign up. You get paid. You can work your own hours, and you generally only work a few hours um, in there. It's not a lot of heavy time. And the benefit from being a virtual um, assistant is these are businesses. These are owners who will take you in and will share information because they got to train you. They got to teach you about what it is that they're doing, what it, what information they want you to convey. So it's a lot of knowledge. It's a lot of information that you can gain just by doing that. That can be a side hustle for you. If I had the time, I would virtual assistant with a CEO of a company baby so I can get some finance information so I can get some information on how to grow. You know what I mean? But I don't have the time. So I need one. But uh, And also guys, you know, and this is just a bonus a, 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 a little sub uh, bonus with number five is I'm starting a tip agency. Hire a group of your friends, a group of people who are looking to become a virtual assistant. You get them all together you, you, and you do the work. You sign, you get them up, you find them jobs, and you get a percentage of the money that they're making. So, I mean, a tip agency, that's that's a bomb hustle. If you got a skill, you, if you know how to help people find jobs, if you have a way to hook people up with jobs, an agency to help people, to employ people, is a great little side hustle. And that's a bonus, baby. I just slid that in there, okay? And that's not even part of it, okay? But that would thinking about being a virtual assistant, I mean, you always can ask other people or have other people come on board with you. So, if you guys like this content, if you like my vibe, again, please like, share, and subscribe. It really will help in the YouTube al algorithms when you give me a thumbs up, when you engage with me, when you watch this video. My whole purpose, guys, to be here is to help us all grow. I'm learning a lot doing this Build Your Business Saturdays. That's the reason why I wanted to do this is because I'm building my business. I'm building my brand. And I am studying and I'm researching. I'm learning a lot of information. And to be able to share that information with you and to uh, help you grow at the same time, it, it helps me because this stuff becomes active and relevant in my life and this is something that I can teach and I can share over and over again. So sharing with you it is building up my whole mental stamina, is getting my knowledge base together. So this is important to all of us. Everything that we do in our lives should be in the purpose of helping someone else because if you're helping someone else you always benefit from okay, it guys, okay guys so let's bring this thing all the way home number six okay on the seven things seven business ideas that you can have with, with that requires zero money okay seven business ideas that require no money to start up okay number six okay you a health nut you work out every day. You love to run. You eat healthy. You, you've worked really hard to lose a lot of weight. Uh, you've worked really hard to maintain a certain weight. You've worked really hard to know what right things work for your body to help you to maintain the weight that you have. And you're quite proud of that. So why don't you become a personal trainer? I mean, it, re it requires no money down. It's just you offering your services and say, hey, I may not be an expert. Okay, but I do this is working for me and I can help it work for you Then it doesn't require no money for you to give tips on on how to eat right and exercise tips Things that you can do at home to stay in shape things like that a personal trainer Zero money guys. These are businesses with no money and finally finally number seven guys Around your house you have clothes you have shoes, you have old furniture that may be nice and you want to, you know, re-decorate or do something different. You have so many things around your house that you could sell online. You can go on eBay, you can go on Etsy, you get them purses, them shoes, them bags, okay, brothers, you get them ties, them cufflinks, whatever. And you can go in business just by selling what you already have. One person's trash is another person's treasure. There's so many different uh, sites now that you literally can resell, you can sell your things online. So guys, you don't need money to start a business. All you need is creativity. All you need is the gumption 
strength and the willingness to want to see your life change and transform and, and also just the determination to, to put in the work. It, to start your business just requires the most valuable thing that you have and that is your time. And if you're willing to put your time in, you will reap the results. Well, I pray that this message had blessed you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Until next Saturday, let's build these businesses up, y'all. Let's build these brands, y'all. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work.